We say in the Army, uh, soldiers don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Uh, our leaders uh, at the senior levels care about the employees. Uh, and until you prove that you care about the employees, uh, nothing else matters. So our employees come first. Um, we will do whatever it takes to make sure our employees are happy and they have the right tools to accomplish the mission. Ultimately, that the warfighter is the one that benefits from it. ABT is uh, probably first and foremost a, a software house. Um, we do software development as well as integration of hardware and software components. So we look for projects that fit within our niche, um, software that are software development intensive, um, that are within the DoD training community, and for those projects that have hardware requirements that require fabrication or manufacturing, we tend to partner with companies who have that speciality. So ABT was started in 1998. Uh, started out as a small, extremely small business with Robert Abascal. Uh, they got some work from PEO Stry. Uh, it grew uh, to having CCTT PDSS, which is the Close Combat Tactical Trainer Post Deployment Software Support, and uh, AVCAT, which is the Aviation Combined Arms Tactical Trainer uh, Development Concurrency. So they, uh, they were uh, responsible for doing the upgrades for the Apache, the Blackhawk, and the uh, Chinook. So when we started, we would bid on small efforts, almost like personal services, where we would, um, I would personally work on small jobs that led to bigger jobs with more people, more program type of work. We would be subcontractor. And about three years ago, we started priming. So we're the prime contractor now bidding on work directly and having subcontractors work for us. So the work is getting bigger for us and we have evolved to de, be more of an of end-to-end full system integration type of company where we can take on those projects. At ABT we have four business areas that cover uh, really the skills and capabilities that we have here. The first is aviation. Uh, aviation covers both uh, fixed wing and uh, vertical lift uh, aircraft. Uh, and it includes programs like our AVCAT program, our, our HCNAT program that does avionics for the Air Force. Uh, and then we have our ground uh, business area. And in that ground business area, we have our CCTT program, we have our JLTV program. Uh, so really taking care of a, a bunch of Army uh, ground vehicles and, and supporting them. Uh, we also have a content business area, and in the content business area, we develop the virtual and augmented reality content that goes into those simulations. So those guys can build different aircraft, uh, they can uh, build the runways and the airports uh, around the world, the ports around the world, um, and they do things like support the NSST program and, and some Navy and, and Air Force programs as well. Um, and then finally, we have our instruction business area where we have our AVT training center uh, is run out of that business area where we teach uh, other companies and our customers how to build simulators or how to make requirements to build simulators, that kind of thing. Um, and then in that instruction uh, business area, we also do some med sim work um, and are able to do stand up instruction and, and deliver the courseware that the content business area can make for us. Uh, through that uh, through that business area. So those four business areas really represent the skills and capabilities that ABT has uh, across the board. We say it's the three A's. It's being agile, uh, responsive to the, to the customer when they're asking us for something, we give them an answer as soon as possible. It's the affordability of keeping our rates ultra competitive. Um, and the last one is accountability. Sometimes things don't go as planned and it's not a question of blame or pointing fingers, it's owning it and making sure that you fix it and you come up with a plan. So agile, affordable and accountable. AVT um, really does what it says. You know, when you come in, I can go in and talk to the CEO at, at any given time and it's an open door and it's not a, it's not a, um, uh, a stressful type of environment. Um, there's collaboration that, that happens across the different sections of the company. Uh, I don't have to worry about if I've got a financial question uh, or a concern that I, I can bring that up. I don't have to worry about, well, you know, am I, am I um, getting outside of my lane and uh, a threat of, of not being heard, but that's the way it works here. Everybody's got to say, everybody's got, got an opinion and those are actually heard. Uh, not everybody's opinion is always going to be taken, 
but it'll be hurtful. I came from a large company that had around 14,000 people in it. And when you were brought on in, you first felt like a number, and secondly, you realized that it was just miles of people around you. Everybody was busy doing their job, and it didn't really have a family feel, a family environment feel. Um, due to the size of AVT, and I think the personal touches that they put on just even the first day when you get here, it really makes it feel like a different place. Um, and you can tell there is a lot of friendship and camaraderie here that you don't really have in a larger corporate environment. We're like a family. We're all focused on our team effort to provide training and simulation to our warfighters. Um, he's able to create more of a family environment here. Um, people that stay here, a lot of places people will stay because of the position that they're in or the security. I think people stay here because they enjoy the environment. Yeah, it's a family atmosphere here at, at AVT. Um, there are a lot of people that are related to other AVT employees. Uh, we encourage that here uh, for families to, uh, to work at AVT. I think it helps with retention. Uh, it helps with the culture uh, and, it, and it allows for a much easier work atmosphere and probably provides some optimization across the company because people for that um, are, uh, when people are close and they're working in different business areas, they don't mind picking up the phone when they have a problem and trying to get help from another, from another area uh, because of that close relationship that we have. So the family culture is good you know, for the employees, and, and, but it's also good for the company. Uh, I think having a family culture enables the, a company to work closer together uh, and really optimize their workflows. Robert will tell you stories about how he used to work for a big company and, and uh, made his life was very difficult. And he, when he started this company, uh, he wanted to, he vowed that that would never occur uh, in the lifespan of, of an ABT employee. So it's that uh, work-life balance and, and family atmosphere that makes ABT different.